Google has recently introduced a new natural language processing, NLP model, that can perform a variety of tasks with minimal supervision. The model, called FLAN, which stands for Fine-Tuned Language Net, uses a simple technique called instruction fine-tuning to learn how to solve different NLP problems by following natural language instructions. FLAN is based on T5, a large-scale pre-trained language model that can generate text for any given input. However, unlike T5, which requires specific prompts or examples to perform a task, FLAN can generalize to unseen instructions and tasks by fine-tuning on a diverse set of instructions collected from various sources. For example, FLAN can answer questions like, who is the president of France? Or, how many planets are there in the solar system? By simply reading the instructions, answer the question, or provide a number. It can also perform more complex tasks, like summarizing an article or translating a sentence by following longer instructions. According to Google's research paper, FLAN outperforms T5 on several benchmarks and data sets that measure the ability of language models to perform zero-shot or few-shot learning. Zero-shot learning refers to solving a task without any examples, while few-shot learning refers to solving a task with only a few examples. FLAN also shows better performance than T5 on multilingual tasks and low-resource languages. This means that FLAN can handle languages that have less data available for training and evaluation. Moreover, FLAN can transfer knowledge across languages by using instructions in one language to solve tasks in another language. Google claims that FLAN is more generalizable and usable than existing language models and hopes that it will inspire more research into models that can learn from very little data and perform unseen tasks. Google has also released FLAN T5 Base 4, a variant of FLAN that is publicly available for researchers and developers to use and fine-tune for their own applications. There are many ways to compare different language models such as their size, speed, accuracy, and versatility. One common way is to use a metric called perplexity which measures how well a language model can predict the next word in a text on. The lower the perplexity, the better the model. Another way is to use benchmarks that test how well a language model can perform various tasks, such as answering questions, summarizing texts, or translating languages. For example, one benchmark is called GLUE2, which evaluates language models on 11 different tasks. The higher the score on GLUE, the better the model. According to some sources, FLAN is different from other language models because it has lower perplexity and higher GLUE score than T5. This means that FLAN can predict words more accurately and perform tasks more effectively than T5. FLAN is also different because it can handle more languages and learn from less data than T5.